thanks. That's like my dream car. It looks like, is the inside all original? Yeah. Wow. That's the hard thing to find. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Thanks. Very nice. My 1969 Judge. I've had this car since 1986. I happened to cross it. I was in uh, a chapter of the Pontiac Club at the time and at one of our club meets and I was telling one of the guys, hey, you know, my favorite car would be a 69 Judge. If only I could have that car. And there just so happened to be one advertised in the local paper, which he was aware of. And the rest at this point truly is history. So I have a little over 61,000, best I can tell, original miles. I've put about 20,000 of those miles on the car. It's documented by PHS. And it's numbers matching block and transmission and uh, it's been a, a great companion really if you're into the Pontiac hobby. So it is a rear mirror three four speed car. It has, it sits exactly as it came from the factory as far as options. Nothing's been added or removed. Probably the most interesting or oddball option are the cornering lamps, which I've seen on a couple of judges for a while there. Right? You'd never see it. I don't know necessarily if those people have added the cornering lamps or they had them on their car as well. But uh, anyway, kind of oddball. No air conditioning. Pretty close to how I would order one from the factory at the time, I'm sure. Everybody would say they'd buy a Ram Air 4 car, but I don't know as we'd be any more clever than anyone else in 69 to know what that would mean eventually, but uh, yeah. And here we have a mid to upper 70s day in the Midwest, which in my mind we have those every once in a while, fairly often, I don't know, spread out. This year we've had, I think, zero. <laughs> it's either been fairly hot or raining or both in most cases. And uh, uh, it's kind of put a damper on my season. But here you go, just a little ride along. Car, unfortunately, and, and anyone watching, if you're in the, the hobby, cars you can probably relate and I got my car in 86 and cleaned it up and detailed some things and went to probably a million shows but you know it's never been nice enough to win the largest of shows because I had a lot of enthusiasm at first and different stage of my life obviously 30 years on but, uh, but it was a lot of fun and won some trophies and met a lot of great people and then, you know, the interest kind of goes in cycles. So now I'm more take it out, go to the park. It's probably not the most attractive picture at the moment. 
me avoid this bicyclist. Bicyclist. I ride a bicycle, by the way. I love that, so I'm, I'm not giving them any grief at all. Most everything works except the gas gauge for some reason is going crazy. So, the end of last season, the battery died. With all the heat and humidity and rain, waited until there was at least a halfway decent day to get a new battery. So this is only the second time out this season, and I'm taking a little easy. But it's still fun. Of lightweight 
the low center of gravity, then what I think of is actually a really nice interior. It makes that car just a, a pleasure to drive. But wow, is it <laughs> light years different than this. This is uh, a pleasure to drive in a whole different way. streets to ourselves. How great would that be? So it's a Friday coming up on afternoon, but we're also coming up on a holiday weekend. So I perceive that there are more cars out today than normal, but I don't know that that's necessarily true. I'm at work. So the car is pretty amazing. The vast majority of it is original. The interior, dash, seats, door panels, carpets, floor mats, headliner, you can probably see a little bit is stained some. All of this is original. In 86, most of it was not being reproduced, if any of it, to be honest. I'm not 100% sure. But on this car, I'm confident that all those things are original. Places on the outside have been retouched. So some paint appears to be original. The stripes are original where some of the fenders were painted or touched up. You could actually see where they taped off the stripes, which is kind of funny to me. Uh, but that original originality is nice. Uh, you know, the downside is the car is so nice that you would just hate to invest a ton in it to make it closer to perfect when the end result it's not going to be much different. But again, it stops it from really standing out in a show. The undercarriage, is nothing's ever been done. I put undercoating on it a million years ago. And actually, the exhaust, with the exception of one muffler, is original, which is part of why it doesn't sound as good as it could. But it could use some mechanical and aesthetic attention. The other one's out for lunch. Subaru is a shock. But again, it's fun. It's just it's like a vehicular vacation. Netflix has had a streaming series on the 60s and the 70s. And uh, if you're a muscle car owner, you should check that out. It was really interesting to see the climate in 1969. And a lot of the history I, I have known, I was alive then, but 
amount of driving age and a lot of it I know, but it was uh, interesting to see all of the news clips and stories and, and the different types of storylines. I'm just trying to decide what I want to eat for lunch. <laughs> 